Yes, hello and welcome to my channel, Bastel Kista. You're tuning in great. Yes, I wanted you. Now let's see. Mine, battery, introducing the new one. On the left, the one on the right, as you may recall, there used to be a delay. Yes, I have it now as well. Upright battery, still remodeled. Indeed, I did promise to get you a new battery. Yes, to show what new things I've done. So it is certainly much easier to build. Like the other one, it proceeded quickly. And yes, I will now share my details with you. Have fun with it. Yes, it's back here. Simply construct a name from my battery holder. Three struts have been welded on, but now there's plastic everywhere. Insulation is behind it. And here you can observe the individual cells. Everywhere, everywhere. Space, so that I can install insulation everywhere. That's what I showed you. If anyone views it from this angle, they can see it here. The pressure plates that I've created. I subsequently carried out this task thoroughly and isolated all variables, thus requiring minimal resources here as well. To build anything, first estimate needed RAM size, then leave enough space. I stacked them on top of each other, going a bit higher each time. I have recharged the batteries as before, so that works great. Simply use a light panel for the plate. First apply insulation, secure with screws, then apply torque. The atmosphere is tense. Then I have the ends of the square tube scattered all around. Apologies, but you didn't provide the text to be shortened. Please provide the text. I have 3D printed plugs to prevent visibility through the holes. Yeah, you can still observe this with my old battery. Still the same here, isn't it? Opening. Put a plug, then you can view the whole thing. Correct errors. Enhance meaning. Optimize for dubbing. If no change is needed, return input. Awaiting your response. NGB block text. Yes, what's new here? Yes, this time I did. My batteries here are also equipped with a Wi-Fi daily BMS. Made a video on this topic. You can now see the video link in the top right corner. I still have this incorporated into my old battery, but I needed to update the firmware in the BMS and then repeat the process. Did that work wonderfully? Yes, I have this new emergency battery stop switch. So off. On, I've also incorporated this into the existing battery, which is certainly the case. Useful. And I have this new DALI here. This is the new DALI Active Balance. I have installed it. It has five amps. The old balancer or the one on my initial battery. It has only one amp here. It also works very well. It just takes time. Long text. And with the 5 ampere, it's relatively quick to reach there. All cells rapidly stabilized. Here you see the balancer on the old battery. And this is the new one. He is too. Bit. But this has its own set of pros and cons. Um, I'm unable to adjust this one. It's all preset. I was still able to adjust the balance and make a few changes such as enabling it to switch on even when it's significantly discharged. Yes, leveled. I believe it only functions from 3 amps. Start at 3 amps. 3 volts per cell loss. That's him. Yes, divide or balance. Yes, but overall, I can recommend both. If you're looking to save money, you could opt for the smaller one. However, within approximately 2 months, the cells have also undergone changes leveled out relatively quickly. It's faster with this one. It's simply a matter of how much you're willing to invest. Who has time? At some point, you actually have it with the battery. They're indifferent to whether everything functions flawlessly after two months or 10 days. So I'm genuinely contemplating if I should encourage the little one to try shooting again next time. Installation, I have reinstalled it. That is 250 ampere EMS. With a fan, yes, I wanted to ask something. Why am I like this? Is a 200 amp N strong DMS needed? 180 amps or any available amount would suffice. Indeed, one must tread with caution. In the unlikely scenario that one of my three inverters, for instance, fails, yes, 15,000 watts can be drawn. 
Yes, that would be about 375 amps. DMS can withstand briefly without issue. In the past, when I had just a single battery, the voltage likely would have dipped so low that it would have powered off. Now I have both connected to the bus bar, which means the entire setup is halved, and I'm comfortably under 200 amps, so they're ideal for that now. Consider the battery configured in this manner. Yes, I am once again amongst the individual cells. Well, I have also produced the small insulating plates in between. Several point six millimeter. Indeed, the three D printer works seamlessly. It's fantastic. You're involved. Total. Yes, we have options. Should we need flexibility? The unevenness of a frame can be wonderful. Yes, equalize through the printer. I believe I've mentioned that previously. Please move a little bit over here. Back gallery does that. Yes, I'd strongly recommend it to all. Engaging in 3D printing creates something tangible. All possibilities, really. Components are in the video description for interested viewers. Link. All the components I have utilized here. Well, if we take a look, you see, have an interest. By the way, this is a 250 ampere unit. BMS with 16 cells. 16 cells which implies that these 16 cells are not yet fully matured. Want to do a bit of research. Every cell is required. Did you get a cable? VMS measures individual cell voltages. Indeed, it is also feasible to detect disparities or if one aspect is too low. As previously stated, the BMS identifies this and deactivates accordingly. This is how it works. As said, all's linked in the video description. If you're interested, take a look over there. Yes, I'm eager to find out when I'll construct my next battery. It's made a significant difference now. So you can confirm that you're here now. Significantly more capacity, and of course, it's wonderful on bad weather days. Here it comes. And yes, my aim is always the same. 40 amp battery. This means I will certainly be adding a third one. And then I believe that's it. Ideal location for mine. Island system. This is the current status. I aim to give you a brief overview of it here. If you have any queries, feel free to leave a comment or drop me an email. All parts installed are, of course, linked in the video description. If you're interested, feel free to look it up there. And then I would say, take care until my next video. See you then. Bye.